All right, so let's do these problems here on the pre-assessment. All right, here we go. Number one, uh, we have 10J cubed minus 5J squared plus two. And then plus, I'm going to align them up, 7J cubed minus 4J squared minus three. So if you do that, it's going to lag a little bit. <clears throat> um, it would be 17J cubed minus 9J squared minus one. Okay, so make sure you are organized with this. Uh, letter B x squared plus minus 5x plus 3. And remember, you're adding them. So it'll be negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. You're not changing the sign. All right, so this will be negative x squared minus x plus 4. Is that right? I think that's right. OK. Cool. All right, number two gets a little tricky because you have to distribute that negative sign. So it'll be 4x squared minus 2x. And you distribute the negative, so it'll be minus 3x plus 2, and then plus 9x squared. All right, when you do that, 13x squared minus 5x plus 2. All right, and letter B, it's 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 2. And remember, you're distributing the negative sign, so it'll be negative 3x cubed plus 7x squared minus 9x. I should have, this is plus 2s right here, minus 9x uh, plus 10. Yeah. All right, <clears throat> so this is. Let's go in order. This is x cubed plus 9x squared minus 9x plus 12. All right. Okay. We good? All right. I'll ask for questions at the end. Number letter level two, number three. All right. Um, be careful not to foil on that one because there's no plus or minus sign in between any of those. Term. So it's just straight up multiplying. So uh, this is just five times three is 15. This is x4 times x2 is x6 because you're just adding the exponents. All right. And then y squared times y third uh, to the third power is y to the fifth power. You're just adding them. <clears throat> okay. However, for letter B, you have to FOIL. You have x minus 4, and then you have x squared minus 2x plus 4. All right. So uh, multiply the x to each term. So you get x squared minus, oh, sorry, x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x. And then the negative four, the minus four to each term, and you get minus four x squared plus eight x minus 16. Put the number below, it's x cubed minus six x squared plus 12 x minus 16. And that is your final answer. So x cubed minus six x plus 12 x minus 16. All right. All right. I think you added that one. The what? I think you added that one instead of multiplying. Which one? The one that you just did. Because I got x to the third power um, minus 2x squared plus 12x minus 16. I'm sorry. Okay, let's yeah, let's just move, let's move on to and then we'll we'll correct it after the recording thing. Okay, all right, um, yeah, let's.
All right, so um, for number four, we're, we're doing a long division and it says M in the middle, but it's really X minus eight in the outside. And then it's X squared minus seven X, not M minus 11. And remember we start here, what number times X equals X squared is X. So it'll be X squared minus eight X. And then, then you subtract. So make sure you're organized with it so that it becomes a plus, so it just be one X. Bring this down, minus 11. So what number times X equals X, so it'll just be plus one. So X minus eight, you subtract it, that becomes a plus. So the remainder is negative three. So the final answer is X plus one plus negative three over X minus eight. You could also write X plus one minus three over X minus eight. Either answer is fine. Okay. Letter number five. Uh, it's a squared, a squared minus 28. Notice that uh, divided by a minus five. Notice that there's no a to the first power here. So when we remember take the opposite sign, so that'll be five in that box. And then the coefficient is going to be one, zero, and negative 28. And remember the zero is there because there's no a to the first power right there. Okay. So you bring the one down, this is five, one times five is five, you put that right here, you add them, zero and five, which is five, and five times five is 25, and the remainder is negative three. So as you, um, this is negative three over uh, a minus five, and then the five is a constant, and the one is in front of the X. So this will be your final answer. Or you can write X plus five minus three over A minus five. Either answer is fine. All right. Wait, wouldn't it be A? Sorry, you're A right. Plus five? A plus five, thank you. I'm just used to X. All right, thank you. And this is A right here too. All right, okay, uh, number six. So it will be uh, 3x minus 2y squared cubed. This will be fun. All right, so remember to put the 3x in descending order. And then the negative 2y squared in ascending order. So plus, um, 3x squared, negative 2y squared to the first power, uh, plus, um, we'll go down here, so it'll be 3x to the first power, negative 2y squared to the second power, plus 3x to the zero power, and negative 2y to the third power, okay? And as you use Pascal's triangle, it should be one, three, three, one in the front. Okay. So let's do each one individually. This one I could kind of cross out because anything to the zero power is one. So one times anything is just itself. This is just going to be 27 X to the third power. Okay. This run right here is, let's do the exponent right here. That'll be nine X squared, nine X squared. This is to the first power, so you can just leave it be. So three times nine X squared is 27 X squared. 27 times negative two is negative 54. And then X squared, Y squared. So it'll be minus 54 X squared, Y squared. Okay, then I uh, work the exponents first. So this is three X, this is positive four X to the four X Y four. So it'll be nine X, nine X times four X Y four is 
plus 36xy to the fourth power. And then this is one, one times one. Sorry, I did the exponent first, my bad. It'll be negative eight y cubed. Multiply by one, multiply by one, it'll be minus eight y cubed. And that is your final answer. Okay, did I get that right? Yeah, I want to the y squared. Um, the one you were doing two y squared to what? Right here? Yeah, on the left. Yeah. This one? Yeah, so it's negative, negative two to the third power is eight, right? Y oh so y squared, so it'll be a six. Thank you. Yeah. So so this is six. Thank you. Always make these mistakes. All right. Thank you for that. All right. All right. Yes. No, you're you're and when it's parentheses, when there is a three outside of the parentheses, you're multiplying it. So remember the difference. So if you're doing y squared times y to the third, that's y to the fifth. If you're doing y squared and then you're putting parentheses around it, that's that you're multiplying it out. Okay. Good question. Remember, this is equal to y squared times y squared times y squared. That's why it's y to the sixth power. Okay. Cool. All right, number seven, surface area without the top. I'm going to try to add all the... I'm just going to... You know what? I think it's better just to do each rectangle. All right? So... Um, so if I if I draw it out here and I get these squares right here. And then the whole side is X, and these are two. Okay. So you're getting the area here, 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 and here without the top. Okay. All right, so uh, let's just get the area of each one here. So this is, what's the length of this? The length is X minus four right there, right? Right, because the whole thing is X, this is two and this is two, so that's why it's X minus four. So each of these sides right here is X minus four. So this times this, to get the area of this, of this whole rectangle, it's two times X minus four, which is two X minus eight. So each of these is, the area of this is two X minus eight, two X minus eight, two X minus eight, two X minus eight. You just have to multiply four times two X minus eight, <coughs> And you get all those rectangles. So it'll be 8x minus 32. Okay. Then you have to get the, the base, the square, the square on the bottom right here. And that is x minus 4 times x minus 4, right? So if you foil this out, it'll be x squared minus 4x minus 4x plus 16. And so that is x squared minus 8x plus 16. Then you're going to add this and this right here, because again, you're getting the surface area, you're adding up all the areas of each. So it would be x squared, the 8x's are gone, they cancel each other out. And then negative 32 plus 16 is negative 16. Okay. And this is your area. So it'll be x squared minus 16. Okay. You could have done it this way where, yeah, you could have just done x minus 4 times x minus 4, I believe. No, no, that, that, that wouldn't have worked. Because if you did x minus 4 times x minus 4, you would have had a number in the middle. Okay. All right. Last but not least, the shaded area. All right. You're pretty much multiplying the 2x plus 9 times x plus 6, and you're subtracting it with x minus 5 
and x minus three. And make sure you bracket this off, okay? So do each portion first and then do the subtracting. So this will be two x squared plus 12 x plus nine x plus 54. And then this is x squared minus 5x, sorry, x squared minus 3x, my bad, minus 5x plus 15. Now you distribute the negatives here. And then it's combined like terms, so it'll be 2x squared plus 21x plus 54. As I distribute the negative, it'll be negative three, negative x squared. And then this is what, negative eight x, so it'll be plus eight x, <coughs> then minus 15. Okay, when I do that, that's what, 39. This will be x squared, this will be 29 x. Okay, and this is your answer here. Okay. All right. So I will stop it there. I just finished the test.